Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the arithmetic operators available in Java. So these arithmetic operators are used in mathematical expressions in the same way that they are used in algebra. So we're going to be using them with the um, variables that we're going to create in our programs. And the one restriction is that, you know, you can't use these arithmetic operators with the Boolean variables. So apart from Boolean variables in your programs, you can uh, use these arithmetic operators with all other uh, variables. So the first thing is, you know, what are the arithmetic operators available in Java? So we have the addition operator, we have the subtraction operator, we have the multiplication operator, and then we have the division operator. And also, you know, we have the modulus operator. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn all these operators in detail. And also, I'm going to teach you about the augmented assignment operators or, you know, the compound assignment operators, you know, which are nothing but using these operators along with the assignment operator, you know, which is uh, uh, plus equal to, then uh, minus equal to, and then uh, multiplication equal to division equal to and also you know the modulus equal to so we're gonna run all these things in detail so let's get started so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create two variables which are of type integers so let's call it as num1 and num2 so in the next line what we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize these two variables so let's say num1 equal to a value of uh, 10 and uh, num2 equal to a value of 20. So now we have two variables. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the arithmetic plus operator. So similar to algebra, you know, this plus operator, you know, which is used to perform the addition operation. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to have another variable, you know, which is going to be of type uh, integers and let's call it as result. So we're going to store the uh, result of the arithmetic operation between this num1 and num2 and this variable. Alright, so it's going to be result equal to and then we're going to use the addition operator. So it's going to be num1 plus num2 and then we're going to print out the value. So it's going to be system dot out dot print line and it's going to be result. Alright, I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it and you guys can see we get uh, um, 10 plus 20 which is equal to 30 so here what we can do is we can uh, use this addition operator with variables you know right here inside this uh, print line method so I'm just gonna cut that from there and I'm gonna paste it here in place of the result and we're gonna remove the result variable so we don't need it anymore and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna run it again and you guys can see we get the result 30 so the next operator that we're going to talk about is the subtraction operator you know which is used to perform the subtraction operation so it's going to be num1 minus num2 or you know let's make it num2 minus num1 so that you know we're going to get the positive value you know otherwise we're going to get the negative value that's it so i'm just going to run it and you guys can see we get 30 that's from the addition and 10 which is from the subtraction which is you know 20 minus 10 which is equal to 10 and similarly we can uh, perform the multiplication operation by using the multiplication operator you know denoted by the star symbol and you guys can see here you know we are doing num1 multiplication num2 and if i save that and run it you guys can see we get 200 so 10 into 20 is equal to 200 all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know about the division operator you know which is used to perform the division operation so here uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one to division operation and i'm just gonna save it and run it now you guys can see we get 2 that's because you know 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So here I have used num2 divided by num1. You know, if I use num1 divided by num2 at that time, you know, it's gonna produce the result zero. That is because uh, 10 by 20 is equal to 0 0.5. And since these two variables are of type integers, you know, the 
decimal value of that result is truncated and that's why it just prints zero. So if we had a float or double variable here, then it will print 0 0.5. All right, the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is, you know, about the modulus operator. So this modulus operator is used to get the reminder of a division operation. So here, uh, let's say we want the reminder of this 20 divided by 10, which is gonna be num2, and uh, we're gonna use the percentage symbol to denote the modulus operator and then uh, we can have the num1 and if I run this program you guys can see we get 0 that's because you know uh, 20 by 10 it's gonna have the reminder of 0 and here let's change this one to 24 divided by 10 now if I run this program you guys can see we get the reminder as 4 so this is about you know using this uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus operator in your program. And the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is something about the augmented assignment operators or you know the compound assignment operators you know which is nothing but using this addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus operator along with the assignment operator. So I'm just gonna remove all these things. And let's say in your program, you want to perform uh, num1 plus num2 and you want to store that in num1. So at that time, what you can do is you can write num1 equal to num1 plus num2. So this is going to perform num1 plus num2 and it's going to store that value or result of that operation in this num1 variable. But in Java, we can do this in a simpler way by using the addition operator along with the assignment operator. So here we just need to write plus equal to and then the second element num2 num1 plus equal to num2. It means that we are performing num1 equal to num1 plus num2. So just to demonstrate the result of that, I'm just going to use a system dot out dot print line, and uh, I'm just going to uh, refer to the num1. And if I run this program, you guys can see we get 34. You know, previously num1 was containing a value of 10, and after this operation, num1 contains a value 10 plus 24, which is 34. And similarly, we can uh, use it along with the minus equal to, you know, which is going to perform num1 equal to num1 minus num2. And uh, if I run this, you guys can see we get minus 14. That's because, you know, 10 minus 24 is minus 14. And similarly, we can uh, use it with the multiplication. And if I run this, you guys can see 240. And similarly, division operation. And you guys can see we're gonna get zero. That's because you know 10 by 24 is gonna have some fraction values or you know the, the value with decimal numbers, and that's why you know the uh, decimal value is truncated, you know, it just prints out the integer part. And what you can do is you guys can change the values here. Let's say num1 equal to 25 and num2 equal to a value of 5. And now if I run this, you guys can see we get 5. That's because, you know, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. And similarly, we can use this along with the modulus operator. And this time, if I run this, it's going to produce 0. And if I change the value, let's say 6 here. And if I run it, it's going to produce 1. That's because, you know, 25 divided by 6 is going to have the reminder of 1. You know, that will be returned, you know, when we use the modulus operator. So this is it guys. This is about the, the simple arithmetic operators available in Java and also using them along with the assignment operator. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.